Hi everyone, my name is Khadijah. I'm 26 years old and I'm a registered nurse. I'm currently in New York City right now helping fight this pandemic that we're all going through known as COVID-19. I've taken a 21 day crisis contract that requires me to work every single day from 7 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. at a public hospital here. Direct Relief is a humanitarian aid organization focused on health services for people who can't afford their care and emergencies. For 72 years, what we've been trying to do is make sure that those taking care of people who get sick or hurt have the tools they need to do that job. Currently, I'm in a makeshift ICU unit. This unit has 35 rooms, and the rooms are double, two patients to a room. Traditionally, this is not an ICU, but because the acuity has increased, we've had to make ICUs out of floors that normally wouldn't be. Um, it's very different from what I'm used to, but I'm learning how to adapt. And thankfully, I have a really great team here. Um, a lot of the other nurses that were deployed come from ICU, similar ICU backgrounds, and we kind of just band together and we make it work. Well, coronavirus is unusual in that it's caused a simultaneous crisis everywhere. Hospitals that are running out of drugs, uh, health workers who don't have the PPE, the gloves, the gowns, the face shields, the face masks, the respirators, uh, we're doing our best to mobilize and connect it to everyone who needs it as fast as we can. So this is the PPE that we're provided with when we get on shift. We have boot covers, a gown, a shield, and then I'll wear my N95 mask anytime I'm off the unit or in the patient's room. But because this isn't a normal ICU and the rooms aren't negative pressure, we wear PPE all throughout the night just to protect ourselves. To see the communities coming together, to combat maybe a common enemy, but in their own community with people uh, who are stepping up, stepping out and stretching themselves and keeping them safe and protected so they can keep the rest of us safe and protected. It's a privilege for us to be able to play a role for people who find themselves in these crises. Normally as nurses, we're required to work 12 hour shifts and about three a week. This is new for me having to do 21 in a row. I did not think that I was gonna make it, but here we are. Um, it's been just really rough on the body. Um, I eat maybe once or twice a day because my main priority is trying to get back to the hotel to go to sleep. And I think that's how most of us feel. We'll kind of get something quick and easy to eat for breakfast and then we wake up with an hour, 45 minutes to get ready to go back to work because we're just so tired. People like Khadijah are on the front lines and sometimes all you see is a uniform, but these are people who are there every day and particularly with coronavirus, they are risking their own health to take care of patients who are sick people who are scared and produce thousands of acts of courage every day. It's inspiring and that's what courage looks like. I'm glad that I was able to kind of record and show you guys what's going on here in New York. It has been a very tough experience. I feel like I really made a difference during this pandemic. It was difficult being away from home and being out of my comfort zone, living in a hotel for three weeks, but I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to experience this.